Hello, my name is Yvon Ranou. I'm in charge of technical marketing for STM32 wireless product inside ST Microelectronics. Thanks for joining this webinar. Today, I will present you our new STM32 WBA platform addressing the 2.4 GHz wireless connectivities. I will guide you inside the product offering, the portfolio, and as well the STM32 WBA ecosystem. So let's start. So this is regarding the communication technology. So ST is focusing on different uh, communications, the long range with LP1, with the standards like uh, LoRa, Zigfox, uh, Wireless Ambus. We are also focusing on uh, the short range, and this is a focus for today with BLE, uh, Thread, and Zigbee. Regarding uh, higher data throughput with Wi-Fi, and in the middle you can see Matter that is uh, in combination with many different uh, existing communication technology with Matter over Wi-Fi or Motor over Thread. On the short, very short range, so this is more the case of ultra wideband and NFC. So now if we look at a little bit more uh, Bluetooth technology that is all around us, on the left side there are point-to-point -point Bluetooth or point-to-multi uh, communication device. And this could be achieved with BLE standard or with proprietary protocol as well. And here you see very well-known applications huh, that we are using uh, every day, like any uh, asset tracking tag, uh, locator, uh, smart glasses, earring heads, uh, and so on. On the right side, this is uh, Bluetooth, but for addressing mesh communication device. So larger network with uh, many different nodes and some uh, hierarchy inside the network. And here, the standard that could be possible is Bluetooth, Thread, Zigbee, and now the new matter is also addressing a mesh communication device. So this is typical communication device that are used for a smoke detector or smart lighting. For example, if you imagine this in a in building or a large room, the standard connectivity is used thanks to mesh connectivities. So if we look at the STM32 portfolio, we have five different pillars that we call also categories. In the middle, you can see the mainstream. So mainstream is, uh, is really uh, general purpose applications. High performance, so this is still a microcontroller, so based on Cortex uh, M7 uh, microcontroller, and we are preparing some uh, more uh, high performance uh, for the future. Embedded MPU, so this is application processor based on Cortex A core with 32 bit and uh, 32 and 64 bit microprocessor. We also have the ultra low power microcontroller service. And on the left side, you can notice the wireless uh, microcontroller. So here we are addressing short range and long range connectivity with two different parts of product. On top, we have additional focus like AI communications. So we are trying to put some AI accelerator on some uh, more and more on different parts. And as well, scalable security that is really now focus to fulfill the latest standard on security. You will see some specific features on many different parts of our portfolio, including the wireless microcontroller. So now we can have a look on the 2.4 gigahertz uh, microcontroller uh, SOCs. The portfolio is split in terms of different product series. On the bottom, you can notice the blue energy product series with different products that are based on Cortex M, M0, up to 256 KB flash, 64 KB SRAM, addressing 5 BLE, uh, 5.2 up to 5.4. And now we are releasing uh, the extensions, the latest generation of Blue Energy that we call WB09 series with more embedded memories up to 512KB uh, flash and 64KB flash. So this product is available right now. On the top of the portfolio, you can notice the WB series. So this series is based on the dual core Cortex M microcontroller. So it has a Cortex M4 and a Cortex M0 plus with up to 1 megabyte flash and 256 kbyte SRAM. 
It is designed to address different uh, protocols. We call it as well multi-protocol SOCs because you can do uh, BLE connectivity, but on top, uh, we support uh, Thread, Zigbee, and now Matter connectivities. So this is a multi-protocol product and you can also achieve concurrent mode. So having two protocols working in combinations. And now we are releasing the, the new series. We call it the WBA series. So this is moving to a smaller uh, geometry. Uh, this is a 14 nanometer technology. And here we have different subfamilies, the WBA52 and the WBA54 and 55. So this is also multi-protocol product in the sense that we are supporting BLE, uh, Thread, Zigbee, and also Matter for uh, RCP mode only. So this new series is based on a Cortex M33 with trust zone running up to 100 megahertz, 1 megabyte and 128 kbyte S1. Output power up to 10 dBm. So this is a new series that we will focus together uh, on these presentations. So this new WBA series is ultra low power uh, BLE SOC solutions. So this is quite simple. We have reused the STM32 U5 platform that is really best in class in terms of uh, ultra low power and um, high performance uh, microcontroller series. And we have added a low power 2.4 gigahertz radio on top. So overall, this product is a BLE 5.4. It has a Cortex M33 running up to 100 megahertz. In terms of security, and this is really high level, we have a trust zone plus a CZIP level 3 certifications. And of course, this product is leveraged on all the, the key peripherals from the U5, our ultra low power platform. So you will find, for example, a lot of flexibility inside the low power and wake up mode, uh, the DMA as well, and some analog and digital peripherals that have been designed for ultra low power applications. So it is built on the 40 nanometer uh, process technology, and of course, it is completely supported inside the whole STM32 ecosystem. So this new platform, the WBA, is really a versatile uh, product. It can address many different applications. So let's have an example of uh, lighting. So we are calling smart uh, lighting. So thanks to the combination between BLE and 802.15.4, uh, you can address uh, lighting applications with a 10 dBm output power and supporting as well the concurrent mode. It is also a good fit for industrial device, thanks to the high temperature, the capacitive touch that is also supported, high level of security with the hardware uh, crypto that is physical attack resistant and very high level of robustness. If we are looking at for smaller uh, scale applications like sensor and beaconing, this WBA could also help thanks to the uh, BLE, uh, latest generation, the long range, the advertisement uh, and the ultra low power consumptions that is also helping to increase and optimize the battery life applications. There are some other applications like fleet maintenance, fitness, healthcare, and as well home automations and some audio because this product, the 55 series, is supporting the new BLE audio AuraCast standard as well. So this is just some example of typical applications where the stm wba could fit. So now let's have a look a little bit more on the, the different product lines that are existing inside the stm 2 wba series. So this product is based on the Cortex M33 huh, core with a DSP, MPU and a trust zone running up to 100 megahertz. This blue block here is a common peripheral set that is shared between all the different lines that you can see here. So this block is a, has an, an RT, a flash uh, accelerator, 10 dBm output power, minus 96 dBm sensitivity. 
Il a son motor control timers, un ADC, 12 bit, capacitive touch, two comparators, and uh, a range, a VCC range from 1.7 up to 3.6 volt, supporting up to 105 degrees. So this is for the common peripheral set. Now we have the WBF52, that is the entry uh, level. Uh, with one megabyte flash, 128 kbyte RAM, supporting the BLE 5.4. So perfect for BLE applications. Now, if you need a more a connectivity protocol, the 54 is bringing the Zigbee, the thread, and the 2.4 proprietary connectivities. And if you need to be a bit more power uh, optimized, uh, so for this, we have the WBA55 uh, that is having a DCDC -DC or an SMPS uh, inside uh, that is helping to optimize the power consumptions uh, of the SOCs. All the products have, in terms of security, the same content. Huh? So this is a combination between hardware, uh, crypto uh, feature, and some security services as well. So now we can have a look on the series, uh, the portfolio. So on the bottom, this is a different package. And on the left side, this is a memories footprint. So this family is offering up to one megabyte flash, 128 kbyte uh, RAM. And you see that we have two different products available for the QFN32. On the QFN48, we have the three different lines, so the 52, the 54, and the 55, and that is much more optimized in terms of power consumption, thanks to the SMPS. And uh, we also have a BGA59 platform that is much more uh, optimized in terms of size, 5.5. So all this package in blue are fully available in production today. Now we have some new parts that will come this year. Uh, so this is a part in gray. We will introduce a very thin WLCSP 40A, 41 pin package. And on top, we are also preparing a module uh, because ST on top of SOC always offer a module on the superset to help people that doesn't have all the capability to do RF design by themselves to simplify and help. Uh, we are also offering a module. All this portfolio is also part of our 10 years longevity commitment, means that we will support for a very long lifetime. So this is a block diagram of the STMZWBA 55 and 54. So in terms of architecture, uh, we have already uh, looked at uh, the, the flash on the RAM content. In terms of consumption, so we can achieve 28 microns by megahertz in terms of active mode. And in terms of low power mode, we are around 1.25 micro amps, keeping uh, the RAM retention, the RTC, and the radio operations. This product is capable to run minus 40 up to 105 degrees full specifications. Regarding radio key features, so 10 dBm output power, external PA is possible, 5.4 milliamps in takes and 3.9 milliamps in X mode. If you look at the block diagram now, so you can recognize here uh, the memory block very standard connectivity, pro serial connectivity uh, protocol, some control timers, uh, a small analog block, uh, sensing block here, uh, rich multi-protocol uh, radio that is supporting the BLE uh, Letters 5.4, but also uh, 802.50.4 with Zigbee, Thread, uh, and Matter. The core here with all the different accelerators, uh, the low power DMA, and uh, all this uh, control stuff here. In terms of security, so quite rich uh, in terms of hardware crypto, including a hook to save some uh, security uh, keys. And as well, some part of this chip are active anti-tamper uh, pin and as well resistant to physical attack. So as I said, on top of standard SOC, ST is offering some RF uh, module, uh, fully certified and ready to use. So we have some module for the Blue Energy series, for example, on the left side, as well for the WB, uh, the dual core series that we released uh, a few years ago with the WB 5M and the 1M, and as well the module for the WB 5M, so the new series, is coming very soon. 
So now let's talk a little bit on the on security. So security is becoming more and more important. You are probably aware that our security standards are evolving a lot. Uh, like the, the RED, the Radio Equipment Directive uh, in Europe, or the US Cyber Trust Mark. And the, the criteria are increasing. So ST is also helping and uh, increasing the security standard inside the SOCs uh, to help at system level to achieve higher level of security. So what do we do exactly? The security inside the WBA is uh, a combination between uh, some hardware features. So we have a lot of uh, memory protections with some active tamper, secure debug, HDP available, a very rich cryptography set, and as well uh, some platform protections and some code isolations thanks to the Trezor. On top, ST is offering many different security services. So this is part of our STM32 Trust ecosystem. And based on this hardware security feature plus the security services, we have prepared everything to target a CZIP level 3 certifications and a PSA level 3 as well that could be achieved with this STM32 WBA platform. So regarding the different uh, software solutions in terms of communication stack, uh, there are different options. If you already have your own, if you own your BLE stack, or if you are using a third parties BLE stack, uh, ST is offering host control interface, HCI interface. So this is a way to plug some uh, external BLE stack, for example. In the middle here, ST is offering a complete solutions for BLE connectivities. Uh, so here we have a full feature stack or basic stack, uh, depending of your needs. And on top of this, we also offer a thread stack or the ZB uh, stack uh, with R22, R23 standard. Of course, many different profiles and cluster are also available and you can select uh, depending of your applications. On the right side, for uh, matter applications, ST has also prepared a solutions for addressing this kind of new applications. So this is a, a thread stack that is ready to use for any matter applications. So regarding the STM32 WB ecosystem, we put in place everything to simplify your design. So this is a combination between hardware you're probably familiar with the STM32 Nucleo board. So here we have one for the WBA55 series. And here you see the discovery uh, kits. So this is an application with some external memories, sensors, buttons, and everything. And you can develop your own applications on this discovery kit. Very useful as well for any BLE audio applications. On top of the hardware, we have a complete software suite offering that is combining many different tools. First of all, the STM2 Cube WBA, but also the Cube MX for the code generations and some power calculations and some additional tools like the Cube Monitor RF or the Cube Programmer. So all this ecosystem is really designed for helping customers to speed up the time to market. And this is the same ecosystem that you are already familiar with the STM32. So let's have a look on the, the software tools for the STM WBA. So the CubeMX is really a, a graphic tool hein, with a pinout configurator that is really uh, helping you to speed up the board layout. In the middle, this is the ID. So here we have different uh, choice on compiler and debug tools uh, like IR, Kyle, and we have as well the STM Cube IDE. And on the right side, this is additional tools for programming and monitoring. Some tools are really dedicated for RF, like the STM2 Cube Monitor RF. On top here, you see the STM2 Wiki. So this is a tool that is um, yeah, designed for helping on easy access to any kind of documentations. And we have some Wiki page dedicated to this WBA and dedicated to each wireless communication protocol standard as well. So regarding the STM32 WBA ecosystem, so some takeaways, some new uh, Nucleo uh, board that have been uh, developed on Discovery Kit uh, to help the prototyping activities, so fully available uh, today. A complete support on integrations on the BLE 5.4 uh, stack 
but also Zigbee and Thread, some advanced tools like the CubeMX, the Cube Monitor RF to help you to make some RF measurement, sniffing, and so on to monitor your network, and some on top some mobile applications that will help you to do some commissioning uh, for your project, for example, and many resources on our GitHub and including STM32 Hotspot and so on. So ST is really uh, now a very large community and uh, we are uh, expanding a lot uh, the tool, our tools and our resources and our uh, easy access to any kind of uh, resource. So on top of the ecosystem, we are also putting in place very specific support for wireless applications. Wireless is not always easy, and on top of standard support, sometimes this is needed to provide extra uh, support. I will show you where and how. So, design journey for wireless might be not always easy. Uh, of course, there are some always some standard parts, like helping to select the right product to do some support during the evaluations. So this is what we are doing for any STM32. Now what we put in place for ORF product is to help during the software and hardware development, like schematics review, layout review, software review, the first PCB bring up, uh, for example, some test ORF support and debugging. So this is some service that we can propose to you to help you. On top, after, when you are moving to testing on certification, sometimes you also, some customers ask for support. And here we can help you to do a pre-certification, for example, to make sure that when you go to certification, you will have first, uh, first chance to have the certifications. And as well, some during the industrializations. So this is all the different steps where we can help. And we have two different uh, ORF labs in Europe that are designed and dedicated to help our customer uh, for any uh, ORF, new ORF uh, project. So here you can see uh, one picture and we have these uh, services available for subgig and of course as well for 2.4 uh, with different uh, communication protocol. Okay, so let's conclude on this uh, presentation. So for the stm 2 wba so some takeaways. So this new family, is, of course, is addressing wireless connectivity, huh? multi-protocol with up to 10 dBm output power. In terms of performance, state of the art, a Cortex M33 running up to 100 megahertz, so very efficient. In terms of power efficiency, I remind you this is based on the STM32H5 ultra low power. So everything is designed to extend the battery life. Next is security. So here uh, there is a trust zone. Uh, this is DPA uh, resistant. So very high level of security addressing uh, CZIP level 3 and PSA level 3. Integrations up to 1 megabyte embedded flash, 128 kilobyte RAM. We optimize as well uh, as much as possible uh, the boom on free ecosystem and very rich. Uh, this is the same ecosystem as STM32. The WBA is fully integrated inside this ecosystem. So thanks a lot for uh, following this, uh, these presentations. I hope it will give you some insight of this new STM32 WBA uh, series. Of course, you can go to our website if you need to find some additional information. Thanks for listening and have a nice day. Thank you.